Hey guys, this is Tara with Teaching on Lemon Lane, and I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough tutorial of how to use these place value puzzles. Um, so before we get started, you may be starting with one of two digital backgrounds. Um, the first one has the first puzzle piece placed. Um, the benefit to has starting with the puzzle piece placed in the correct um, position is that it ensures that your puzzle, when you put it together, will be facing the right way. If you start with the blank background, there's a bit more of a challenge there, which I love. I'm all for it. But just be aware that because you are starting um, with the background like this, as you put your puzzle together, it may be um, oriented sideways or upside down. So just be aware of that. Also know um, that there is a printable option as well. And again, with the printable option, because there isn't a piece that has been started that you know it's facing the right direction, as you put together your puzzle that's a printable, it also may be facing the, a different direction. So be aware of that as you work on these. Um, let's go ahead and start with this option. And I'm not going to do the whole puzzle because I don't want to give away the answer in case students are using this as a tutorial. So let's go ahead and jump in. So as we look, let's go ahead and zoom in on that puzzle piece that's been placed. And I zoom in and I use the magnifying glass to zoom in. So here's my possible answers or questions. So I have 8,008 round to the nearest 10 thousands and 900. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to go and grab a puzzle. Now to grab a puzzle piece, um, right here I have the individual puzzle piece pieces and I simply just click on them. So as I click on them, I can single click and then I can single click and drag and then let go. And that's gonna move my puzzle piece onto the board that I'm going to be using. It may be helpful to click single click and drag all of your pieces over so that you can have them all kind of on your desk and you know what you're working with. Again, this piece has already been started, so you don't necessarily need this one, but you could um, move it and match it up. But here's my pieces that I'm going to be working with. And again, in order to move them, I single click and then I would single click and drag. So here's my pieces and let's go ahead and just get to work. So because I already have this piece, I'm gonna delete this one and I'm just gonna get started here because I know that this one has been placed where it needs to be. Um, as I look at kind of what I'm dealing with, I start to wonder what one's going to match up and I'm gonna zoom in just so I can see a little bit closer. So I single click and drag, I can move things out of the way. If by chance, let's say that this one were behind it. I've got, it should work out quite nicely, but I'm going to show you an issue that you might run into. So let's say that you're going to click on this. Um, you want to click on the smaller green triangle and every time you try and click on it, this big triangle gets in the way. So if that's happening and you're trying to click on the smaller one or trying to move it, um, the only thing that you need to do is just move this bigger layer to the back. So you would click on the one that's getting in the way, come up to arrange, then click order, and then you're going to click oh, send to back. And that's going to arrange those layers so now that this smaller layer is in front, and that way you can click on both um, quite seamlessly. Okay, let's go back to our placed puzzle piece because this is a great place to start. As I look at my options with the sides, um, these three options right here are likely an answer to a prompt like this one right here on the other pieces. Um, I think we should start with this prompt. So what we're looking at is round 3,148,872 to the nearest 10 thousands place. So as we look at our other puzzle pieces, we are going to look for that answer. So as I round to the nearest 10 thousands, that eight would um, change the four to a five. So I'm looking for the answer, uh, 3,150,000, and that's it. So let's zoom out and see if we can find that. I move these over. Oh, that one's really close with the 3,159,000. Be aware that I have included um, answers that are very close to the correct answer, but not quite the right answer. Oop, there's another one that seems close, but that's not what we came up with. Oh, look what I see right there. 
3,150,000. That's what we need. So that's the correct answer. So this is the puzzle piece that we need. So I'm going to zoom out so we can see it a little bit better. And to move it, remember you single click, then you single click and hold and we drag it. Now notice my answer is right here, but I need it to match up with this piece right here. I also want you to notice that the number or the answer is not centered, right? It's kind of shifted over here. When you put this together, you want to line up the correct answer with the prompt. Um, so they're going to be centered with each other. So let's go ahead and rotate this puzzle piece. To rotate a puzzle piece, you single click and then you look for this um, blue circle and you're going to single click and hold and then you can rotate it as you drag and we let go. Now notice that's not going to line up quite there yet, so we're going to rotate it some more. I find that blue circle, I single click and I rotate and we're closer. I rotate. Perfect. Now notice, is the prompt lined up with the answer? No, it's not. I need to bring this down more. So I'm going to drag it down. And now I look, is the prompt lined up with the answer? Yes, that seems better. I could even, if I wanted to, drag it down a little bit more. But since I know this puzzle piece is where it needs to be, I'm just going to line it up kind of with the bottom of that slide. So those match up, and now I move on to the next one. So here's my questions, round 5,098 to the nearest thousand. So I would go and I would look at my pieces and I would find that answer. When I find the answer, I rotate it or move it to line it up with this puzzle piece. I also check these options and see if there's another um, answer that's going to line up as well. As I continue to do this, my tangram is going to form a shape and it will help you find the final kind of answer or puzzle. If you have any other questions, let me know, but this should cover everything that you may run into. Um, the only other thing to be aware of is that you may have a question or a prompt to answer here once you complete the puzzle as well. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.